you know, I've already made videos about improving your skill as a basketball player. But I don't think I've really gone into the mindset that you need to have to really succeed at this game. And I think it's equally, if not more important, than the skill aspect. This has been a tough time for my basketball journey, I guess you could call it. Uh, I've been in a shooting slump as of late, and trying to get myself out of it has been tough. I've been trying to will myself out of it and stay confident and stay positive. And that's a very hard thing to do in sports, as some of y'all already understand. But I'm going to still you know, keep pushing. But I just thought I would give some advice on this if anybody else is going through that or if anybody else just needs you know, a bit of confidence today. So I'll, I'll tell you a little story. So, okay, I'll go. <laughs> um, okay, I'll talk about this. So um, my team has been losing games as of late. We've been struggling. Our team just hasn't been playing the way that we usually play. Our defense has been, you know, lackluster. We just haven't been gelling as a team. We haven't been hitting our shots, myself included, and I take responsibility for that. <sighs> See, having that confidence to win games, to get far, to win championships, that, you know, that whole idea is very tough to do. When you can't seem to win a game. And you know what? There's going to be times where you feel like all you're doing is just losing and losing. And life is going to seem very difficult. The basketball season is just going to seem like it's crashing down. But I do believe that there's always a silver lining to everything. The approach that I've taken to it is that with these games and with these losses and with my mistakes... I've been able to learn something from each and every one. I've earned a lot of, you know, wisdom from it. I've gained a lot of knowledge on it and if I, you know, keep this positive attitude, I can continue to move forward. Now, for anybody else that's dealing with this, you will know how frustrating it is to be in a shooting slump when you have spent countless hours working on your shot and you do it every day. I mean, I mean, you are just so close every single time and keep spinning out of the rim. Like, I'm getting angry just thinking about it, but keeping a positive mindset is the most important thing to do in these types of situations, especially if you want to succeed in sports. You have to be able to have a short memory and just keep moving, keep pushing. You know, I can give you another story. So this is going to date back, man, I don't know how many years ago. I'll say about, say, no, maybe like, I'll say, I think it was four years ago. It's about, yeah, I'll say four years ago. See, I played travel basketball growing up, you know, that's, it's basically AAU, but not tournaments. It was, anyway, it was travel for, you know, my team, or my town, sorry, and I was on the A team every single year until 7th or 8th grade came around. And then I wasn't. I was demoted to the B team. And that hurt. That hurt a lot. And I just remember feeling so distraught about it and just being like, man, this is so unfair. I'm better than a lot of those guys on the team. Because truthfully, I was. But... You know, it's sometimes coaches don't like you, and that coach was not the greatest person in the world. Not to make excuses for myself. I could have um, done more. This was when I was, like, 11. But I remember at that time being so distraught, and my dad just said to me, he said, hey, you know what, now that you're on the B team, it would be a lot more rewarding to beat the A team now. And so that's <laughs> that's what we did. We just played our hearts out, and I remember we were about to scrimmage the A-team, and then they ended up not being able to do it or something, but I remember we beat the other B-team at that time. There was two B-teams for some reason. I don't I don't know what that was all about, but we smoked them. 
And the coach I had for that B team, he always believed in me. And I'm still friends with him to this day. He actually went to one of my high school games. And the one high school game he ended up going to was my only buzzer beater I've ever had. It was a game winner. It was a great moment. It, you know, and I think a lot of things are really just meant to be. And you just got to embrace every moment of the basketball journey. There's highs and lows. There's ups and downs. But if you can really embrace every single moment, take a lesson from all the mistakes, you'll become an excellent basketball player and a wise man for it. Um, I know this is a very unfiltered video. I just wanted to get this video out because I, I really think it could help somebody that needs to hear it. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Though. I, I appreciate you. And um, my last piece of advice to you, the most important, don't forget to keep God first. Good luck.